Welcome to the section on price adjustment, or you can call it a price improvement or whatever you want, price reduction. I, I mean, it, it's all semantics when it comes to the, what you call it. But in the end, you need to contact the seller and don't, don't be the agent that you know sits on the side and, and is scared. Play to win. Don't play not to lose. I think too many agents play not to lose. Like, oh my gosh, well, what if I call and I upset them and then they fire me? Well, what if the house sits on the market and it doesn't sell and then they fire you anyway? So at least go for it. Play to win. You know, I remember years ago, you know, we made an offer on a property and the agent, uh, the listing agent, I believe the property was on for for two ninety nine nine. We came in, we offered two seventy five. This is years ago, before the crazy market we're just coming out of, and and the the agent was like, I, my seller would never accept that offer. I'm like, well, how do you know? Have you talked to him? I I know they wouldn't. I said, can you just do us a favor? Just talk to the seller. And, and, you know, present the offer. All right, I'll get back to you. Hung up on us, called back three minutes later. Yeah, they're not accepting it. So I knew it was the agent, right? It was the agent. So anyway, bottom line, my buyer moved on to a different property. A month and a half later, we saw the exact same property expire off the MLS and then come back on the market at the 275. So the moral of that story is if that agent would have done her job and took herself out of it and her own ego out of it, she would have got that property sold and she probably would have got more because my buyer probably would have came up to 280 or maybe even a little bit higher, but yet she was stuck in the middle. So the, I want you to really come from a place of I'm, I'm playing to win. I need to serve my client. I need to tell them the truth. And in the, the best way to approach this, there's a script below. I want you to go through the script. It's phenomenal. It's a great guide to guide you through this conversation there's a couple of things you need to understand. The seller needs to understand. They need to believe you're on their side. Critical. Number one, they need to believe you're on their side. Okay, what you're doing is going to help them. It's not for my interest. It's for their interest. The second thing is you want to give as much information as possible. It's about providing information. So you need to have the amount of showings, the time on market. You need to look at other properties that are similar to this that sold. Sometimes you need to reach out to agents to find out if there were concessions, all that stuff. You need to have as much information as possible. And then you need to just ask good questions and listen. That is it. It's about listening. And if the seller trusts you, they'll make the adjustment. The biggest mistake we make as real estate agents is not having these tough conversations. And let the seller know, hey, this is a tough conversation for me too. I hate when we have to adjust price, but this is what we have to do sometimes. Now, if you're watching this, it probably means the market's changing because for a couple of years, we didn't have to do price adjustments. Anything we put on was selling right away. Well, like anything, it goes up and it comes down. So, hey, hopefully this is the time it's going up. But if it's not, you need to get really, really good at having these tough conversations and it starts below. So find yourself a role play partner, play around with that script. And if you need anything, from me, let me know. Good luck out there and go get that price adjustment. Play to win instead of playing not to lose.